What do you recall after that? Um, well, after he had hit Maddie in the face, um, I saw someone else hit him, and I wasn't sure who. Um, I saw him fall into the water, and my intention was, because I used to work at elementary schools and had experience breaking up fights with little kids and stuff like that, so my intention was to um, go over there and try and break it up. I saw him in the water, and I saw people going around him, so I went to push his shoulder in the, the front, but ultimately didn't. Um, but I was going to try and just get him to stay down for another second and then tell everyone to back up and then we could have figured out what was going on. But as I reached down to push him in the shoulders, he reached up and um, I guess, I don't know if you call it a stab, but got me with the knife. What was your injury? Um, well, there was a lot, I guess. Uh, the most... Um, apparent thing obviously was that my stomach was open and my intestines were in my hands. I don't know what other parts were there, but I mean, they were in my hands and uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I know that and from there, but afterwards with like the medical records and stuff, I know other injuries. I don't know if you want me to go into that or not. Um, did you after you're holding your intestines, did you see much of anything after that? Not much. I mean, after that, I remember screaming pretty, pretty viscerally, I think is the word. Uh, and then I remember kind of scooping it together with my left arm and putting my right arm down and standing up and then falling down and standing up again and I think I fell down and stood up one more time and then I was kind of I mean I was still conscious I was I was talking um, but after that really all I remember is that and then telling Tony that I was gonna die and him telling me I was gonna be fine and that I wasn't and my response every time was uh, like 100% I'm, I'm going to die today. And then I remember waking up in the hospital with a breathing tube and my parents looking at me. And do you know how long you're in the hospital for that first time? Yeah, 27 days. And after when you woke up the first time, was that after surgery? Yeah, it was around 11.30 that night, I believe. Did you have follow-up surgeries? Um, a, a few, yeah. Did they... Was your wound stitch closed right away? No. Um, they put what they call a wound vac on it. Um, I assume that acts as kind of like a fake flesh or skin. Um, and they left that on for about a week doing other exploratory surgeries just to make sure that they didn't miss any other lacerations or injuries. And then after almost a week or so, they uh, had inter done internal stitches but left the top open so that it would heal better and they put a, another smaller wound vac over that. Did you have to have um, any sort of devices to assist with digestion, eating, feeding? Um, yeah, I had uh, a few feeding tubes, um, some NG tubes to help with uh, just the extra fluids in my stomach. Um, but yeah, I had the feeding tube because uh, after the surgeries I had developed a hematoma in my uh, intestine and it was completely blocked off. There was no food, no water, and the IV, tr IV nutrition wasn't doing enough. I had lost 50 pounds in that 27 day stint. Hey, AJ, were you drinking on the river that day? Yes. Do you believe you're intoxicated? Uh, probably, yeah.
did, do you recall how you got to shore? Um, no, not really. I uh, didn't know that I did really. I just remembered the standing up and the falling down and then I know people did move me in the end, but I don't remember it. I couldn't, I couldn't see or feel anything at that point. And you don't remember the, do you, well, let me ask, do you remember much of anything or anything from the point where you're on shore till you wake up in the hospital? No, um, I think I had lost too much blood at that point. I mean, I, in the past I've, lost a lot of blood from an injury when I was younger, and I lost sight and vision. Or, I mean, I lost sight and hearing from that, too. So I know that, like, once you do lose enough, certain parts stop, stop working because your body's trying to keep you alive, not your senses. You talked about a artificial skin they had on at the hospital. Oh, uh, yeah, the wound vac. We Uh, this is a graphic photo. I warned you first. Yeah. What? Just can you just tell me what that photo shows? Uh, shows the the wound vac and I guess the extent of the wound. It, I mean, you, yeah. Is it, that a photo of you in the hospital? Yeah, that was the uh, the next morning. Okay. George, I'm. 